Hi, I'm Alexandra Queen, Assistant Editor of the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here with Dr. Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief. In this month's issue, we have a research study on the Mediterranean diet. Joe, there's a whole slew of diets out there. Um, what exactly is a Mediterranean diet? Yes, Alex, uh, the Mediterranean diet uh, really has taken hold. Um, it was shown in a number of population studies to decrease the risk of people developing metabolic syndrome, that is uh, high risk uh, cor for coronary disease and strokes, uh, and also pre-diabetic. Um, and it's a diet that strongly emphasizes fruits and vegetables, um, fish and, and uh, poultry as opposed to red meat, um, and of course is low uh, in, in sugar, um, uses olive oil, um, and has actually been shown to um, decrease the risk for diabetes and also decrease the risk for heart attack and stroke. So um, it's really a, a diet that's strongly recommended. What is the evidence that this diet is effective and should physicians recommend it to their patients? So this study uh, that, that we've just published in the journal actually uh, was a meta-analysis for all the smaller and some of the bigger trials on the Mediterranean diet and the results were positive. It really did show that this diet decreased the risk for atherosclerotic events such as strokes and heart attacks and it also decreased the risk uh, for patients uh, developing diabetes. Equally good was uh, a low-carb American Diabetic Association diet. Not as good was thus the low-fat diet that used to be pushed by the American Heart Association, but they've shifted over now to the Mediterranean diet. So uh, the take-home message for docs is encourage your patients to follow the Mediterranean diet. Thanks for tuning in. You know, we have lots of good information that's a lot more than what we've talked about today, both on our website, on our blog site, and our YouTube site. Please tune in and take a look.